What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Mr. Joe's Baseball Show. We got another episode of the Netplay Classic today. I'm actually doing a uh, bit of a, you know, like a post commentary on this one because I, I messed up my audio recording last time around. I absolutely beefed it. So we're watching the draft after the fact. Uh, I actually don't need to watch this draft at all. We're just gonna skip ahead. We're playing flatbread here. Uh, I took a loss in the last game, so we were five and three. Looking to finish up the season with a couple of wins. I am the away team. We are playing on, I believe, Yoshi Stadium or Yoshi Park. So Flatbread uh, going for the perfect season of 0 and 10, uh, while I try to continue my run here. And uh, let me turn the volume up for you guys a little bit. That might be too much. That's probably a good spot. So yeah, we're uh, we're looking to uh, you know not make a a big statement here, but I would definitely like to pick up the win in this game because, uh, you know, you don't want to you don't want to give the guy with no wins his his one win. You know, you never want to be that guy. Unfortunate on that double play, definitely unlucky. Uh, I'm sure I was pissed about that one. Actually, not a double play. Surprisingly, I uh, quickly was able to get back there. However, that this is going to be a double play. Yeah. So, I mean, that's how it goes sometimes. You know, you pick up a hit. You hit a couple of line drives directly at the second baseman. That's how it goes. But yeah, the uh, the classic season been going well so far. I had been using Peach Pitcher a lot, and uh, that was a great hit from from Para. That's an easy double. You can see I went for the dash reset there, and it didn't even get it. So that sucks. But yeah, you know, good. <laughs> I just realized that like up here in the top right corner, it doesn't say link in the description. I wonder what happened to my uh, my source for that. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, Peach Pitcher been looking nice. You can see I went for the dash reset on that last play. It didn't work. Uh, and Hero's actually pretty scared of him going for a uh, going for a charge swing for a uh, for a home run because I believe in the first game of the season, he, either Flatbread hit two home runs with with Koopa or maybe maybe Boomerang Bro did it against Flatbread, something like that. I'm not really sure. Uh, but honestly, I understand going for the slap hit here. You're looking for like one. You're, you're looking for one run, and my outfield's pretty weak. Um, and as you can see, he hits it right into the gap there. Really nice slap hit. Usually with DK, you want to hit it the other way, but he actually um, he actually pulls it, but finds like the gap between my slow ass center fielder and uh, you know my uh, my decent right fielder. And here I actually got really lucky because I forgot to change Baby Mario to left field because I was I was kind of lazy. I was like, you know. What's he really going to do with fire, bro? And apparently he's going to take me to the wall. But luckily, Shy Guy was able to reel that one in. So not the end of the world. I think this is one of the first times that I've gone for Wario Slap Hit in a long time. And it actually did end up working out. He would have had me on a dive there, but was not able to pull the trigger. So that was cool. So yeah. Uh... Oh, it sucks. I... How do you guys feel? Oh, I just shook my whole desk. How do you guys feel about this, like, after-the-fact commentary? I'm not going to make a make a thing out of it, but, you know, I've done it in the past. I did, like, VOD reviews. This is kind of like a VOD review. Um, but I'm not going to be, uh, you know, I'm obviously not going to be focused on playing the game, so I can kind of just talk about it, which I like. You know, I like commentating the game. I wonder if a normal plant would have caught that one. I'm not sure. Oh, shy guy. That's a thing of beauty, baby. Oh, Wario's going two. He's going three. Honestly... Okay, he has double laser. I was like, I know he's like holding the ball kind of as bait, but I think maybe if I had sent, I might have had a little bit of luck there. And that's, you know, that's going to be the sack fly we're looking for. So tie up the game nice and easy, uh, which is definitely worth it. I might have been able to get the second there if I had uh, anticipated the throw home, but who knows. Now, Peach has been pretty terrible for us. The reason I went for the, uh, the stolen base there was uh, his catcher is not super strong. So I figured maybe I could uh, I could get to second, get to scoring position, and then a hit from Peach would be able to score me. I don't think I agree with going for a bunt there. I have the chemistry from first to third. I don't know if you knew that or not. Uh, but Noki slap hit's like perfectly reasonable. He's using right EPM, which uh, is basically just for Falcon Pop, and actually manages to get a nice hit with the charge swing. If you guys don't know already, charge swing on uh, on righty Piata. He, well, just his his bat hitboxes on as a righty are significantly worse than as a lefty um i think i would have had him at second base there honestly i'm not gonna go back but i think i would have but yeah so apparently having pianta as a lefty makes this hit like significantly better i messed up bad there i tried to brain blender him and i blundered myself uh not gonna matter luckily but you know 
Probably should have had the out, but honestly, it's fine. Uh, all tied up after two innings there. But yeah, so righties and lefties, not for every character, but for some characters, do have differences on their uh, on their bats. Now, I don't know if it was necessarily a good idea to roam a shy guy there, because I have to lead off with Peach, and I despise this character at the plate. Her bat is so, so short. It's not, like, it's not horrible as far as, like, at when you actually hit the ball, but uh, it's so, so short. You want to push the ball with Peach because she is a push hitter, but she just, she doesn't have the range that she needs, and Magic Koopa Slap continues to be nice as hell. Uh, I kind of like this part of... Uh, I've heard some people suggest, like, a different lineup uh, construction for the early part of my lineup, but I really just think Magic into PD is so good because it immediately puts a threat... Oh, come on. You know, Magic Koopa is so consistent at getting on, and it immediately, uh, you know, you put the threat up after. So if you want to walk PD, say it's the first inning of the game, I get on with Madge. First, first, you know, first at-bat a single. Oh, I thought I had the out there. I got a single the first at-bat. And then uh, Petey's up. Say they don't want to pitch to Petey, because you can kind of, you can pitch around the heavies in classic modes, since people usually only have one, maybe two. Um, so you pitch, you, you walk Petey. Uh, and then it's first and second, nobody out. Now you have Waluigi up. He has a, a very consistent bat. Extremely consistent bat for Waluigi. That should be two. Yeah. Um, so now you're potentially scoring Madge, at least making it bases loaded. Probably bases loaded. Uh, now you have Wario up with bases loaded. He's my captain, so obviously with no outs, you don't really want to use his star. But uh, you have chemistry as well, so you can hit a ball to the wall at least. A uh, beautiful hit from Walu. That's what I'm talking about. Um... So you can hit a ball at least, you know, deep into the outfield. That's a sack fly at least. Maybe you can get the home run, which is pretty hype. So, I mean, I think, like, you know, why not do that lineup construction? Even a hit like that, you know, that, that'll score a run with bases loaded. So, yeah, I mean, I like this construction. I guess you could probably move, uh, like, you could make it so it's, like, Madge, Walu, then Petey. Uh, I don't know. It, it kind of gives you a similar concept. Um... You know, except for instead of getting a walk for Petey, you're getting a pitch to Walu, and then if Walu gets on, they probably want to... They might walk Petey with the bases loaded. That's going to be a nice sack fly. Uh, this is actually pretty much the exact scenario that I just talked through. Um, but we got a, a few singles in a row. Um, and different characters, obviously. But yeah, I don't know. I think... Uh... Oh shit, did I get double played? I think I accidentally went forward instead of back. Oh, well. But yeah, I, I don't know. I think I like having uh, Petey in the two spot. I, I think it's better overall. Because Waluigi is never going to get walked. So now you're, you're now you're responsible for getting multiple hits. And if Waluigi gets doubled up, then they just get a free walk of Petey. And I know it's probably a pretty similar situation, but I don't know. I don't know. It's working for me pretty well so far. You know, five and three uh, is a respectable record. If we finish with two more wins, seven and three is... Um, Yo, 7-3's good. Oh, baby Mario's so freaking bad, man. I hate this character. Watch out for that plant. I hate baby Mario. I'm never... If I... I will adamantly try to avoid babies <laughs> in, in Mario Baseball for, like, the rest of my life after this. Alright, so we got him a bit of a... Yeah, that, that was me being a dumbass. So, and not being a dumbass, but... Can I just go back easily? All right, I accidentally skipped around in the video, but this is just me being a dumbass. So, I, I was waiting for him to go home, and right here, when you saw that kind of like little flick that Wario did, that was my um, that was my my finger missing the A button when I tried to throw home. So that was good. That was a good way to let the game get tied up, you know. Embarrassing. I remember that too. It wasn't like I just. It's not like I just didn't want to throw home. I just uh, I literally missed the button. So yeah, game tied up after that one, which is rough. Definitely hate to see that. And a great hit from that, that's oh, that that's that's a go ahead RBI uh, double probably from Walu. And instead, Magic Koopa gonna slurp that one up. So uh, yeah, that's tough. That's a tough one. Also, we're blacked out there for a second. Not sure why. So yeah, I mean that's a rough one. And now leading off with Peach again, man. Oh my god. Back to back, not back to back, but two innings leading off with Peach. Got jammed up there. Usually she has pretty good inside contact, so uh, that's a little un unfortunate. Now we're getting a star chance on Baby Mario, which is just abysmal. Oh my god, I hate this kid. Get him off, get him off the field. Get him out of here. 
Oh my god. Oh, he did something. There we go. There we go. Congratulations, baby Mario. Your first hit of the nine games you've played so far. I know that's not true, but it really feels like that sometimes. Oh, Madge Koopa stays nice. That's a nice little double for Madge. Nice double for Madge. Get the runner on to third. This is probably where Petey gets walked. Uh, if I had to guess, this is this is a, a place, if any, to walk Petey Piranha. And there it is. Yeah, that, that's pretty much expected. I mean, you can't really do anything else. But now Waluigi, the absolute hitting machine that he is. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is basically exactly what I was saying. You know, Magic Koopa gets on, PD gets walked, Walu gets a hit. Now we have uh, bases loaded here for Wario. This is the exact situation that I was just drawing up before, more or less. And Wario hits a gapper. Dude, it's like, it's like I know. I've got Mario Baseball lineup construction in my noggin. And I'm good at it. Look at that. We were just talking about it moments ago. I didn't even remember that that happened. You guys, you guys, you guys should listen to me. You should listen to me more. I may not win every game, but I, I know what's up. Oh, yellow fellow. How nice of you to get an RBI single there. That's what we're talking about. The team, the boys are rolling. The team's feeling good. Baby Mario's even getting hits. That's how you know, you know, the team's overall on the up and up. We're getting a nice little hit and run here. Unfortunately, gonna get doubled up. <laughs> or, I, I don't know why I sent Wario. Or why I didn't send Wario back. I'm not sure. I might have had my brain in a blender. Who knows? That probably would have been another run. It probably should be 7-2 right now. That's okay, though. Oh, Paratroopa. Nice play. That's a nasty fifth inning, though. And that's, that's all because of that lineup construction we were talking about. We set it up nicely, and we executed. So, I, I, I like it. I like the way it looks. Oh, Wario. I think he might have been able to make that play. What do you guys think? Do you think he makes that? I think there's a chance. I think there's a chance he gets to that one. Oh, he's going with the steal. Oof. Usually you're not getting a steal against PD, but uh, I went for a charge pitch, so that's, I think, why he ran. Unless it was a perfect steal, I, I didn't I didn't see it. That should be an out at first. That chemistry on the left side of the field is so nice, having Madge and Wario going chem to Waluigi. I really like the team that I put together for this classic. Oh, Wario, you got to make the play. Luckily, no run's going to score because uh, he also thought I was going to catch it. <laughs> Honestly, it felt like that was, should have been a catch. This is a charge swing easy, yeah. But I really like the team I put together. Uh, I don't love Peach. Uh, I, you know, I don't even hate Peach that much. I don't like Baby Mario. That's my biggest my biggest falter, I think. It was just kind of like I needed a wall jumper. Uh, you don't really need a wall jumper, but it's definitely recommended to have one. But, like, Red Shy Guy is... That's a great hit. I think this might go over the fence. Oh, off the wall, yeah. I remember that one. But, like... Red Shy Guy, solid, solid star hitter. Um, Pianta, solid infielder, and I've been liking his bat a decent amount. We got Wario, Waluigi, Magic Koopa, Petey. Those are all great characters. Uh, lucky that he didn't pull that one. Uh, and really, then it's like, you know, Peach has been a, a, a good enough pitcher for us. She's been solid. I could be using Waluigi as a pitcher, but I really like ha Another inning leading off with Peach. Oh, my God. This is nuts. Jeez. Come on, Peach, do something. But yeah, I I, I like uh, Waluigi at first. You know, he's having more value there. The chemistry connection's been really good. Oh, Peach did something. Let's go. Huge. Absolutely massive. God, she's so slow. Oh, baby Mario. What are you going to do, little baby boy? Yeah, that's right, you idiot. You absolute buffoon. Terrible. Absolutely dog shit. Get off my team. Get off my team. All right, here we go. Magic Koopa once again. I think Magic is three for three on the day. Uh, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it at three hits, I guess. You know, you can't get them all. Uh, so leadoff PD is gonna be interesting because if there's a star chance, I'm not sure that we get walked. But if there isn't a star chance, it's, I would I would be surprised if we didn't. I played this game a while ago. I know I'm talking as though I have no idea what's gonna happen. Uh, I played this game a while ago. It's been, uh, it's been a few weeks at least, so I don't really remember, like, the inning-to-inning -inning interactions. See, this is why I don't really... A lot of people are going back to Lefty Piata because of the recent discovery that the bats are so much better. This was before that. Um, that's how long ago it was, if you're familiar with uh, that information being discovered. Um, a lot of people are going back to Lefty because the charge swing is good, and if you don't have any stars, Righty Piata is so bad. Like, actually abysmal. 
Oh, nice one, Baby Mario. You made a play. Ugh, I hate that character. I hate that character so much. When I started playing the game, I was like, I'm going to bring Mario, Baby Mario into the meta because I think he's cool. Um, I don't think he's cool. Just pick, just pick Toadette. Toadette is like the babies, but better in nearly every single way. Baby Mario has a better bat. Slightly. But Toadette's like leagues above everywhere else. It ain't even close. Hitbox is like so much bigger than the babies. The babies have the smallest hitbox. I think Toadette has one of the bigger ones. Um, much faster. Sliding catch. Oh, got everything you need. Yeah, so actually no star chance there. And PD was getting pitched to. Get the uh, the effective walk, no matter what. Pad my stats a little bit, but... Uh, interesting. I I guess in a game that's this, that's this close, you don't want to give up free base runners. But PD kind of gets free runs. And Waluigi continues to be an absolute menace. Has he gotten out yet today? He might have one out. But even without Madge in the front, man, this is just such a good scenario to be in. And Wario can so easily put one in the exact same spot he did before. But Noki might get that one, yeah. Uh, but that was, I mean, that's a great piece of hidden. Uh, gets him to the track, but unfortunately not enough. Yellow Piazza, though, same exact hit. No, uh, no piranhas out there in, uh, in center field. I feel like there should be a piranha, you know? Spice things up a bit. Do I go for the Falcon Pop? I haven't landed a nice one a single time, and of course the first pitch that's good for a Falcon Pop, I hit directly into the ground. Yikes. All right, here we go. Bottom seven. We are the home... We are the away team, rather. So, uh... Although we are winning, the later the game goes, you know, scarier things get in a close game. That's another great play from the chemistry connection there. I don't know if they're going to get that without Chem. Our pitching's been nice, though. A lot of the hits right at our fielders. We're getting jammed a lot. So, it's, it's been pretty nice. Now, finally going for the DK charge. This is what I like to see. I love Donkey Kong Charge Swing. It's so exciting, especially in a uh, in a thing like the Classic where you're so scarce on uh, on home run hitters. You may as well be charging with Donkey Kong because you know he's just he's so nice with it. He's so nice. I think that's the first star chance that we had lost in a long time. We were we were really keeping him off stars this game, very effectively. It's a great pitch there. Oh, Peach. It's so hard to lay off, too, because people are so good at being deceptive. Baby Mario, though. That's a nice little hit down the line. Another star chance for Baby Mario. You know when Baby Mario's showing up to play that the, uh, the gears are turning nicely. And here, this is the most obvious steal decision of my life because... You might be saying, oh, you're making so many outs on the base pads. Hear me out. I have two outs, and I have match up with Baby Mario in first. A star hit's not scoring Baby Mario. A single's not scoring Baby Mario. That's a nice play. Um, say I get on with Magic Koopa. PD probably just gets walked. Sure, I have bases loaded for Waluigi. But, nice play for match. But, since I stole trying to get the second, if I were safe on second, now I have a runner in scoring position for Madge, and a star hit scores him pretty easily. Um... But since I got out, that's fine because now I get to lead off the top of the ninth with the top of my lineup, and we know what the top of this lineup does. So, you know, it does that. Look at that. Beautiful hit. I'm not going to push it. I thought about it, but he got the ball in. Because uh, PD's coming up, and PD doesn't need Magic Koopa on second base. Because PD Piranha hits dingies or balls to the wall. I think he would have caught that if he had done the thing where you stop dashing and jump. It's a, it's a pretty hard input. All right, but once you get it down, you kind of just have it. Oh, he's so nice, man. He's just so nice. And once again, exactly how we drew it up. Sure, there was no walk to PD, but look at this. Wario with the bases loaded, no outs. Obviously, I'm not going to go for the star because it's so easy to get doubled or tripled up on the star. You got to go for the fences. You want to see the Wario grander. Uh, unfortunately, not going to be a Grand Slam. We're going to push for the... No, oh, no, we didn't push for the Sack Fly. All right, that, that I mean, it's the right decision. Magic Koopa would have been out by a mile. But, oh, Yellowfellow coming through once more in a big spot. And that's just like... that. That's It's such a nice part of the lineup. Because I'm producing with Yellowfellow. If Wario doesn't get on, it's fine. And it looks like we're pitching with a tired pitcher. 
And we're going to hit that one deep into the outfield. That's going to be another sack fly here. So that's two more runs on the inning. And you know what? Base is loaded. Nobody out. So far, two runs have come across. That's pretty solid. Obviously, you're looking for more. That's a meatball. And we're hitting that one right down the line. No plantage, but we are pushing Waluigi. I think I'm going to be thrown out. Yeah. Uh, I honestly, I like that, that send, though. Because, I mean, yeah, sure, there's laser. But say he was safe. Uh, you know, say it took a little longer for the outfielder to get the ball in. Sometimes they do, like, a longer wind-up. Wind up. Uh, then I have a five-run lead. Obviously, f and, and four runs is comfortable, you know. A four-run lead when you've only given up four runs. You're in the bottom of the ninth. They only have one star. Uh, you're feeling pretty comfortable in this position. So it's really not the end of the world. And, oh, what a crazy play that would have been for Shy Guy. Uh, he got, you know, he was he was there. You got the sliding catch, but the plant picked it up. So it's a, it's a star chance double. And uh, get a nice burn on the star there. That's huge. And now, now we're comfortable. Paratrooper without the star. This guy is a chump. Never mind. Right up the middle. A beautiful hit. He's probably going to send here. And he's going to be in there comfortably. Okay. Okay. Eight to five. It's a three-run lead in the ninth inning. He's got no stars. He's got a couple of star hitters coming up. What's the worst that could happen, right? What's the worst that could happen? Get him in an 0-2 count quickly, just like we did with Paratroopa. Did not throw that same pitch over the plate, because last time he, he, you know, hit it right up the middle for an RBI, which was nice. And instead, he gets that one. All right. All right. Tying run at the plate. Tying run at the plate. Oh, with double chem. Hmm. That's not great. We're not charging. Weird. All right. Now, DK at the plate as the tying run. Now, this is a scary situation. All right. You know, maybe the four-run lead is not super safe, but we're going to bring in the closer. Never mind. We're going to switch uh, We're gonna switch Baby Mario to right field for the wall jumps. Here's the charge swing. He crushes that one to center field. Shy Guy gets under it. The lead is protected. And that is the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. That is our sixth win out of nine games so far in the Netplay Classic. One to go against Legendary Bolt. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're getting close to 4,000 subscribers, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're going to get there soon. I'm hoping by the end of September we're there. So be sure to sub. Be sure to like. Thank you again for watching the video. Last game of the Netplay Classic coming up real soon. Have a great day.